Standard Linux run levels begin at 0 and end at 6. More are possible if desired, but not required. Different run levels determine which daemons and services run automatically at that level. Red Hat and Fedora Linux distributions follow the standard model. Here are the levels. 0 is halt. 1 is single user mode, which doesn't configure network interfaces, start daemons, or allow non-root logins. 2 is multi-user mode, but one that does not configure network interfaces or start daemons. 3 is multi-user mode with networking. It starts the system normally with all of the daemons. However, X Windows, um, Genome, the, the desktop environment, the graphical interface does not start. 4 is optional, usually not used, but can be user-defined for specific reasons. 5 is the normal default multi-user mode that Red Hat and Fedora will boot into. It loads to GUI and Genome or KDM and all daemons. And 6 is reboot. Run levels are defined by directories and files in the file system. These files are found in the etc directory. Example, here's a listing of all the directories inside the etc folder that correspond to each run level. In standard Linux distributions, the init daemon is the grandfather to all other daemons. It is invoked after grub2 boots and handles loading all the other daemons according to the run level being booted into. In any particular run level directory, the links prefixed with S start when the run level is invoked, and the links prefixed with K stop when that run level is invoked. There are several command line tools you can use to manage Linux run levels. The most formidable are these two. The first, run level, displays the last and current run level. If no previous run level exists, it displays end for none. The second, tell init, sets or changes the run level to the argument specified. I'm on Fedora Core 14, and we're looking at run levels today. Um, let me kind of blow this up a little bit, so you, hopefully you can see better. But, um, you know, basically, we can use the run level command and see our default run level. And for Fedora, it's run level 5. Now, um, in Ubuntu, it's run level 2. And different run levels are for different purposes. Um, there are basically seven run levels. 0 through 6 is how they're enumerated. 0 is halt. 1 is single user mode. Um, 2 and 3, no, it, 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 actually 2 through 5 in Ubuntu are full multi-user mode. Um, however, in Fedora, 5 is multi-user mode, and I can use the run level command to, you know, list my run levels. Um, I can use tell init or init to drop to a run level, all right? And then let's take a look at the configuration, you know, like everything, whether Ubuntu or Fedora, most of your configuration files are in the etc folder, All right? So in etc or etsy, as we shall affectionately call it, um, let's cat um, the init tab file, and this is sort of you know this is sort of the main configuration file in Fedora uh, Linux, All right? And again, here you know it's just listing the different run levels here, what they're for. Um, what we use them for, and this is sort of the default. See this line here, ID5 is the init, you know, init default. Um, now in Ubuntu, this doesn't even exist. At least, the, you know, in the latest versions of Ubuntu, they've gone to something called Upstart, and it's another daemon that you know loads other daemons. But at least in the case of Fedora Linux, um, it's still using the init daemon. Okay, and uh, in the Etsy folder, if I were to list the contents thereof. Um, I'm just going to do a listing here and then kind of pause to we get down to the R's. And then if you see all of these folders here, the each each of these corresponds to a run level. And there are links and you know to script files in these folders. And when you init or tell init to a level, they will run the script files located at you know in, in those directories at that run level. So um, let's take a look at let's take a look at um, RC rc5.d, all right, which is our current run level, and see what kinds of script files are in there. All right, and if you look, these are, you know, links to, I don't know if I, let me do a long listing there. All right, and you can tell that these are all links to script files. So my long listing. And these script files, um, you know, are everything from like X Windows and the desktop manager um, to networking services to all kinds of things, you know, cups to, you know, printer daemons, networking daemons, whatever things that, I have set up to run at this particular run level. And the syntax, or the way this works is, if I want the service to start, I prefix it with a capital S. And if for some reason I want to change that and I don't want that service to start, I prefix it with a K. So all of these would be killed 
if I go to this run level, they would be stopped and all of these would be started. Everything prefixed with an S starts, everything prefixed with a K stops or is killed. So that's just the way that works. That's run level 5 and remember that there's just one of these folders for every single run level. Now again, you can't really compare this to Ubuntu because Ubuntu has gone a completely different direction with this. And we'll take a look at that later. Um, but I'm going to recurse out of this directory. In Red Hat and Fedora, but not Ubuntu, the init tab file in the etc directory sets the default run level. On dedicated servers, it is common to change it from the default run level of 5 to a run level of 3. By booting into run level 3, all server daemons and services will be running, such as DHCP, DNS, LDAP, HTTP, FTP, Samba, NFX, NIST, Squid, and Puppet. However, no memory or CPU cycles will be wasted on X-Windows or Genome, leaving more for the server services and enhancing the server's performance. When a GUI interface is desired for administrative tasks on the server, it can be provided by typing the command tell init 5 and going to run level 5. Alternatively, one can enter the command startx, gdm, or kdm, depending on the desktop manager installed. When administrative tasks are complete and the GUI is no longer needed, the server can be returned to run level 3 with telenet 3. Once again, this provides more system resources for network server tasks. A nice option, don't you think? And I'm just going to, um, again, take, take a peek at our, our config file. Alright, so init tab. And I'm going to, let me see if I have nano installed here. sudo, whoop, that's Ubuntu. Let me do, um, let me, I'm, I'm going to go to root real quick. And put me in root here and let me see. Nano, I'd, I'd be doing sudo if I was in Ubuntu, but let me do nano and um, yeah, let me go ahead and install that. See if I can yum it. I'd app get it if I was in Ubuntu, and I'll yum it if I'm in Fedora. There's a lot of similarities between, um, you know, Fedora and, and between Ubuntu, but there's also some very significant differences as well. Um, and then let me go ahead and let me go back to the etc folder. Okay, and nano my init tab file. I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to change this to 3. And you know, by default, it loads my window manager and it boots up and you know, Genome is running and X windows and all that. And that's, that's good for a workstation, but for a server, it might be nice to have it boot up to run level 3. Why? Well, you know, again, I'm using all of these processes here um, that relate to, I'm, I'm just going to look up you know, X windows and Genome. And then let me, hang on, let me grep here. All right, let me grep genome. I'm using all these processes here, and they eat up CP cycles, and they consume various amounts of memory. So it might be nice if, um, you know, if I have server services running and things, if I could just boot up into a, a level that, yeah, I could still run an FTP server, an Apache 2 web server, you know, all of the things that I need, but maybe not waste memory or CPU cycles running a graphical user interface when I don't really need one. So it's just sort of a, you know, an option that is available. Don't really have a comparable feature in Windows. Windows is, you know, it's the graphical interface is sort of welded to the kernel and the operating system. But the neat thing about Linux, whether Fedora or Ubuntu, is they're distinctly separate or distinctly different. All right, so again, um, if we just cat that, notice I've changed my default from five, run level five to run level three, okay? And if I wanted to see what, you know, what's going to happen or what would typically take place in that directory in etc, I'd say rc3.d, I'd want to change to that. And I could list, and again, all of these links to all of these script files would be executed. Do a long listing again, notice how they're all links here. Okay, so I'm going to recurse out of that directory. And I'm going to go ahead and exit, and we're going to reboot um, into run level 3. Okay, so exit out of root and then I'm going to go ahead and, and shut down and reboot here. So, And then okay um, now I've rebooted and now notice that I'm no longer bringing up the graphical you know run level 5 in Genome but I'm, I'm in run level 3. Um, so I don't remember what my password was. Okay 
So at this level, I mean, I still have a lot of processes running, okay? And, you know, I, I could have an FTP server, an Apache 2 web server, a, a Sambo, Sambo Windows file server, an NFS server, a NIST server, whatever. But I'm not, at least I'm not wasting CPU cycles. Um, let me grab for genome here. Running a, a graph local environment when I don't need to. However, if for some reason I needed to hop on, you know, my Fedora 14 and, and, and configure something, I can quickly bring up uh, the graphical environment if I want to, just by starting an X session. So I can type in start X, and that'll launch my X server, and this will bring me back to a graphical environment. Yes, I'll be eating up more memory and using CPU cycles. However, when I'm done configuring things graphically, I can again, you know, use the init command, um, and you know, I can drop back down to run level three.